there, my fellow introverts. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mina here, back with another commentary video. Guys, I'm here with another episode of Outer Banks. The last episode of the binge, I think. The episode before the finale, actually. So, guys, um, last episode we saw the gang got into a bit of a, a squabble. John Beats found out the truth by Sarah's lips, which was appreciated because she was responsible in that aspect and he hit topper over and over again topper decided he's gonna get revenge by pressing charges and john b is just worried about trying to get to his dad uh but to make it up to john b and i guess to help him out because she loves him she makes topper believe that she's gonna i guess stay with him and john b will be leaving so just wait one day and yeah that didn't happen Rafe interfered on the whole interaction it was like oh Sarah ain't shit basically <laughs> basically not the exact words but along the line he was like she's gonna keep playing me bro and Rafe is also trying to kill his father so there's that as well um Topper unfortunately went you know totally insane and tried to burn the crew alive burned down um john b's house with them inside of it so he was very upset that's why he did it the psychotic ass i guess so i'm very excited to see what happens this episode hopefully we see some more interaction with jj and key i've been waiting for this all freaking season where is it where is it don't tell me it's, it's the, in the last episode of all things guys come on get it together but guys, I want to jump right into this episode. But before that, as always, I want to remind you guys to head on over to thebooksedemand.com. It's an awesome book recommendation website. But with awesome book recommendations and book reviews, guys, join my mailing list and stay updated with book lists and giveaways and so much more. There's also me the introvert store on Etsy. It's filled with a pair of perfect for book lovers, my fellow introverts, and anime lovers. So guys, make sure you check that out. Also, at the end of most of my videos or all my videos, there's a promo at the end. The link will be in the description box below and by clicking on it, I will be getting a commission because I am an affiliate marketer. So guys, just make sure you click on the link and get something. I am trying to get some new headphones and you know, let's let's get right into this, this episode. I'm very excited. I'm also very tired. It's like 4 in the morning right now. So this is the last episode of the night and it is episode 9. This one is called Welcome to Kitty Hawk. Sarah also got some help from her dad so I'm very interested to see what becomes of that situation. I know their relationship is shit but you know, after he tried to murder her. I'm very curious. Could have been a faulty electrical wire. Place was all wood. King just went up. Boom. That sucks. I really hope you guys get this gold. Because now you don't have a house to live in. Hey, well, as much as I would love to ghost my parents again, I can't. Hope we're talking Eldorado here. Can you, like, just, like, slip out the back, maybe? Great advice. I mean, it always worked for me. How to avoid unpleasant circumstances 101. I just want you to be there, dog. I'm gonna be there. Yeah, we gotta let our parents know. I always wanted to go to South America. I'll go pack some stuff. Yeah, how was that gonna go? Last night, you were... You were saying something before the fire. I'll tell you what. What? I'll tell you on the plane. Hmm. Just to make sure you get on. Right. Oh God, you're still there? Oh, he's gonna check. I hired someone to kill you. I don't think he's gonna tell. I need you to go live your life in Guadalupe. Realize what could happen if you stay. What could right? happen? Police could find you here. Something much worse. Much worse. It's like, what the hell did you do? What are you done, son? <laughs> you see? He knows he's impulsive and dumb. And whatever happens is on you. Yep, it's on me. Whatever you've done is on me, Rafe. Yeah, whatever you've done, you dick. God, that's what you raise. 
You're both just sickening. I know you're smarter than me. But there's no way in hell we let you run off to the jungles of South America with your hoodlum friends. <laughs> no hoodlum. <laughs> I really are. <laughs> I love him. Look, Mr. Hayward, you've taught him everything he needs to know. It's about Denmark Tanny and your family's legacy. I gotta do this. It's the real thing, Dad. Gotta, 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 gotta. I gotta take care of him. Keep him safe. Oh, they got to go? I mean, I knew they was gonna get to go. But good for them. Oh shit, the barbecuda. No, that's that's not that word. Barracuda? Get your bag and run, 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 run. No, 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 no. How you know that? Why do they always say that? Like, they are busy people. They don't be home all the time. Sharon said the same thing at um John B's house. And I was like, Okay, his van is outside, but he don't always take his van everywhere. He sometimes go on his boat. John B, the, the plane's gonna be there. The pilot's gonna be there. I, he promised it's gonna take us straight down to the Orinoco. I believe him. Okay. I'm practically an adult. I, I'll never, I'll never ask for anything again. Not her practicing. Ooh, they're gonna steal you, girl. Hey, come back. I'm not gonna hurt you. Ooh. I just want to talk to you. Uh, oh, you weird. Stranger danger. Stranger danger, indeed. Uh, Mom, who are you? They're abducting her. Oh, it's not forever. I would never speak to them again. I'm sorry. Places like this, I would never trust to send my children. That is terrible. This is what you do to juvenile delinquents. <laughs> God. Are you guys waiting for us? Yes, we were. You're late. Now, did you actually convince your pops this time, or? Cleo convinced him. My girl, that's what I'm that's talking about. Need hey, where's, uh, where's Key? Key? She was abducted. No, no, no. Give me the keys okay, right now. Okay, it doesn't seem like a really good idea right now, JJ. Look, her parents already hate me. All right? Just give me an hour. <sighs> Y'all need to go. What? Kind of over. Yeah, you do. Ah, I'm gonna kiss on the rescue. I'm calling it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be like, this is it. I hear the bells. I hear the bells. The wedding bells. A second marriage. <laughs> you got 59 minutes, JJ. Come on, let's go quickly. He don't know where he where she is and how far she went. <sighs> Usa. Lovely afternoon, JJ. Do not come on my property. Not even a little bit. Yeah, right. Um, well, yeah, you know why I'm here. <laughs> we sent her someplace where she can try and rebuild what you and your friends destroyed. You sent her to that wilderness camp? Yep. God. Y'all really are some kooks. <laughs> no. Ooh. And I don't want to see you around my family again. Oh, I wish a bitch would. Could we go into South America? <laughs> I mean, I understand. But, you know, to do this, I don't think that's right. I think that's dangerous. I don't think people that host camps like that is good people. It wasn't like she was a bad kid. A little rebellious, sure. Oh, that looks like misery. ODD, Oppositional Defiant Disorder. Now, fortunately, it's very treatable with medication. I'm not taking medication. See that? That right there? Your reaction? You just confirmed my diagnosis. Nigga, what? I used the restroom. Long drive. I don't think you're going to be able to sneak. This is going to get caught like immediately. No, 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 no. Get off me. Get off, off me. God, people are crazy. I don't trust these places. Patients will be expected to get to work on time. Be awake by 6 a.m. and asleep by 9 p.m. Failure to adhere to the rules will result in time in the reflection cabin. Boo, you're not gonna stay there long. JJ is gonna come up with some psychotic plan and you're gonna get your shit together. You left me. You 
left me with nothing. No other freaking option, you know? Hey. Hey. You okay? No. He's never been okay. Actually, um, do you ever, uh... Want to kill your parents sometimes? I'm in a position right now where, uh, you know, if I do what's good for me, like, the smart thing, then I gotta be really hard on someone else. Well, hey, you gotta look out for yourself, right? No one else is going to. Yeah, no, I... Why don't you tell her, Rafe? The way I see it is when you've got a really, really, really tough choice to make, the trick is to do the thing that you'll regret the least. I learned that the hard way. Okay. Sound advice, I think. Decent. I don't care about it yet. Okay. You'll do the right thing. I'm sure you will. And you know, if he just had a belief system, something like her all his life, he would have turned out okay. But he had someone like Ward, so it makes sense that he's equally psychotic, you know? It's all there. You got what you need. It makes a clean job. Untraceable. Crazy shit, man. Crazy shit. Oh, that's his plan? Okay. What was the name of that wilderness camp that Uncle Larry sent you to? Remember the one I'm talking about? It's kind of my day off, dude. I got like a whole to-do list to get ready for Cluckingham Palace. Ricky! Oh my gosh. <laughs> there's a girl's half and there's a boy's half. It's like this re-education camp run by the Moonies outside the city near the coastal swamp. Kitty Hawk Camp. Hey, uh, why are you asking? That's not where they're sending you, is it? Funny. He's gonna get her! Yay! I know the clock is ticking, all right? Just hold out as long as you can, and if you have to go, we'll just meet you there. No, we can't. We can't. Listen, we How? Can't. How are we going? I'm working on it, dude. I'm figuring out. Luckily, I'm a problem solver. Just stay in the matrix. Are you? Oh, shit. I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God, JJ. Look behind you. Look behind you, you dummy. Oh, God. Problems stacked on problems, man. Shit. You could run. Run. Yeah, that was a bullet. You lost the load, JJ. Now, instead of me getting paid, I owe them. Which I guess means that you owe me, right? I know. They're... Get in the car. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, in this hand, you can get the pleasure of beating my ass right here, right now. I honestly get that temptation. I really do. <laughs> in this hand, Mike, you got a pile of Fortune. Come on. Fall for it. You hear about John B? His house burnt down last night. Wow. Who would have thought? Well, karma. It, uh, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It is, it is. God, you just want to ruin everything, dude. Die. I don't want to do that thing anymore. Oh. Hey, you didn't do it, right? Do what, right? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't do illegal things. <laughs> oh, my God, I love Barry. <laughs> you're like, what are you talking about? I don't do that. I don't do illegal things. As he does an illegal thing. I told you I'm not the one doing it. Both are a big joke. Rape especially, like the biggest joke. Why are you ruining people's lives? What do you want, bro? Hey, Sarah. What are you doing? You just uh, seeing John B. off or what? Oh, you meant to call me last night? Okay, no, it's all good. I was actually asking around myself and heard your dad's plane was here. So are you leaving with him? What do you think, psycho? Better be glad I didn't swing back at you at the wreck because I think you know what would have happened. I'm not taking the bait, huh? You would have kicked my ass. Heard they're remodeling the chateau. It's tough, man. How'd that happen? Oh, don't do it. Don't don't hit him, bro. You guys have a nice life, all right? You burn on a guy's house. Judge Thornton's grandson. Hey, listen, I would um I'd like to formally file charges, okay? Oh god, I hate him. He and Ray both psychopaths. I'm her brother. I was actually just gonna drop off one of these packages back here for her, if that's okay. It's real quick, I promise. Just in and out. Not all right? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you so much, all right. Y'all have a good day. Do you not see the state of that van? 
You're not even supposed to be here on campus. But we have a policy. No contact from the outside world for the first six weeks. Right. A cat died. He's gonna say it. I know you got a policy and all, but there's just been something that happened recently that, you know what, I'm getting a little emotional right now, so I... <laughs> Who's Marley? Marley's her best friend, a uh, Siamese mix, and, um, yeah, it was really sudden, it, you know, uh, mailman was coming at 40 miles per hour. <laughs> oh my god, shut up, TJ, shut up! <laughs> and he's gonna follow her. You know, he has good plans sometimes. Wait, what cousin? Young man, blonde. He asked me to tell you that Marley, well, he passed away. Like Bob Marley does. Your Siamese mix, Marley. Put it together, sweetheart. Pout. Pout. Yes, good job. <laughs> when? Well, we got the news just after you arrived. We thought you should know. <laughs> Steal her keys! Steal her keys! Damn it. He is so in love. Oh! Oh, she is so in love! <laughs> that is so freaking cute. Well-deserved, but you know, oh, is that his, like, bad leg? Or is it his back? What, 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 why is he using the cane? Oh, he's got a leg. Did all the cooks take, like, taekwondo or something? <laughs> why can't they all fight so well? <laughs> We're good. Are you sure you're... Warren? Is that you? Warren? Where would you lift your hand? Yeah, and that's your fault, Rave. Gotta go. Got it? Yeah. He's gonna die. Oh, boo-hoo. Sad, sad. Cry, cry. One can only hope he dies. Bitch, you want some? <laughs> Stop present. What's my problem? Yeah. John B. Rutledge <laughs> on the Cameron's jet. Lockie Machar called. He says there was a dispute out on the Skinner's landing, and get this, he says he saw Ward Cameron. Well, they say this guy who he thinks was Ward was injured, and he was heading out in the direction of the airstrip. Oh my gosh, y'all all cannot converse there. We have to go. We don't have eight hours. And Topper might have already called the police. Okay, okay, I'll call him. It's time to go. It might be JJ right there. No, it's not. You okay? You okay? None of them all standing around, just watching. Please! Let's what go. happened? Let's go on the plane. Come on. You're good. Not a man of his nightmares, dude. I got you going. In disbelief right now. I'm not getting on a plane with him. No way. No. He gonna steal all the treasure. Rafe is likely to. That monster. Kinda kinda have to though. Yeah, we gotta go. But he will still give us the right to Orinoco. So if you don't want to get on the plane, I get it. We'll find another way. There's no other way. Yeah, you have to get on the plane. How are you? Key and JJ gonna get to what? Or, or can, Orinoco? I think I got it, Orinoco. Ooh, the amount of shit y'all been through. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I was, I was thinking about like past, like the past tense, kind of. You know when he fought with him that one time. I guess over the cross as well. But I just remembered that he, Rafe melted down his cross. Oh. Yeah, let him know we gotta go. 
I guess it's gonna take um Barracuda's plane. Please take care of him. You did this. You do anything to him. Anything. I swear to God, I'll find you. You know my scared bitch. <laughs> Dad, hey, get back on the plane. They're coming right now. I gotta talk to you. Come here real quick. Dad, you gotta, you gotta Bro. go now. Like you don't have time to argue. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Don't thank me. All of it is yours. Everything here. It's yours, son. You're the man now. You proved yourself. Okay. That was his test. My God, the way they are so deluded. Yeah, it takes a while for a plane to take off. Y'all taking my long. Hurry the f up. Even though you're on this plane, can we go back to Key and JJ now? Huh. <sighs> Oh, he's gonna get in trouble though, right? Shit, Rafe. Look like you got a story to tell. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my. <laughs> I forget. Not the reflection cabin. I guess that's what Kiara was in. Because <laughs> she's like, I need more reflection of myself or something like that. Where are you, Oh my god, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Look at him thinking. Oh my god, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh god, I'm nervous. What are you doing in here? Hi there. Uh, evening, miss. Uh, sorry. If Kiara was still awake. But I'm just looking for someone I'm looking, at, looking for. Me? I'm ready. I could do this. I'm not gonna squeal. <laughs> I'll kiss and join as husband and wife. <laughs> Why do I watch this and feel like I'm 13 all over again? I am too old for this shit. <laughs> what I was gonna say last night. Um, Kia, I just... We don't have time for this? I want to say I'm sorry. We really don't have time for this. I'm sorry, Kia. And I love you. As well. I love you. I love you too. Watch it one more time. I want to say I'm sorry. <laughs> Guys, I'm so freaking happy. They did that. Love you too. <laughs> All my dreams came true. Oh, I was so nervous. I was like, All hey, aboard, Kiara. Kiara and Barracuda Mike. Come on in let here. The plane is ready. It's been ready, dude. Let's go. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. I get it done. I'm a ready? husband, baby. JJ is a mess. Are you sure? You got somewhere else to be? I am so freaking happy. I want to watch that last episode just because of them. She's like, suck it up, you big bitch. <laughs> the tension. Thank you, baby. God bless you. Oh, did he really find Jesus? What? What is this? John. No, no, no. Thank you, Let's too. leave it. Just stop. 
I know you Just won't believe it, but... Don't speak to him. You have nothing to worry about for me. Stop it. Not anymore. I'm just here to help you. Oh, God, I hope you die. Like, fall out of the sky or something. I'm glad your father's alive. Oh, God. Why even talk about the guy? Unnecessary. Look at how far we've come, John. A day is right upriver. And they say it's cursed, you know. It's a test to prove yourself worthy of being the okay. true heir to the gold. That, John. And I think the group of kids that's coming, they're going to be worthy. They're the worthy ones. They've been through too much to not be the worthy ones. They had a lot of tests. I think they could, they deserve the gold. No. Of course not. Because I was born to do it, you know. That is my destiny. I saw you say. In fact, the only thing that can stop me now is you. Big John, hold your breath. Well, guys, that was another awesome episode. I think it was the best episode of the season. <laughs> I totally knew it was going to kiss when he rescued her. Um, I call that from the beginning of the episode, as you guys heard, as you guys saw. I'm going to try to ignore that for now and talk about all the, the bigger trials, like Rafe and his dad's thing and how it seemed like Ward was testing Rafe in a sense and then Rafe passing the test. Okay. Um, there's also the fact that Ward is all holy now with the God bless yous and the I'm gonna fix everything I've done and all the, the stuff. I guess he's been reflecting and he's found Jesus. I don't know. I didn't see him go to church or anything. Maybe he just, he saw the Bible in there and he was like, you know what? I vote follower now. I don't know what he, what he did right there. Everyone's really tense on that plane. Topper continues to be the biggest asshole next to Reef, of course, ever, because he's just a hateful, spiteful ass, ass nugget, ass nugget, yes. That's what he did, that ass nugget. He just continues to be a bad guy over and over again, proving that he's not seen as well. I don't know why all the cooks kind of crazy, and I don't know why all of them have like martial arts lessons, like they took freaking classes. Cause John B always getting his ass whooped, and Rafe always winning a fight too. So I don't, I don't get that. Unless they like get sneaked or whatever, they always win. It's annoying. No, I think I talked about everything relevant oh big john big john is about to die but unfortunately for both him and sing well maybe he he's fortunate in a way but the kids are going to get this goal i believe it in my soul because how how can they lose it how they gotta win this time they need a win so I think they're going to win this season and get the gold and they're going to stay in South America until further notice. Maybe uh, when um, when it comes back, the show comes back, they're going to do a, a little bit of a time jump, see what they did with the money and, you know, have some more adventures. That would be cool, I think. Someone was kind enough, I think, on the first episode to let me know that there's going to be a season four. So I am theorizing before the finale, of course, that there is going to be in season four, there's going to be like a, a small time jump, maybe with them living their lives and then maybe finding another map to gold or someone wanting revenge. But I think it's going to be a while till we see them in the OBX again. Maybe. I don't know. Because what do they all have to go back to? Key officially got sent to the wilderness camp she don't want to go back she don't want to like there's a chance that she may or may not like you know suffer the consequences of that of going back and um being sent right back to the camp so she wouldn't want to do that john b lost his home his dad's not even there sarah's dad is on the plane with her and she has nobody in in the obx other than ray so it's like everyone has left it behind at least for now so i'm hoping season four has some more treasure hunting i'm not sure how i feel about revenge plots so i hope they don't stick to that too much but it's gonna be fun i just hope i hope i hope i hope that this season they get away i'm really looking forward to it guys but of course it's time to talk about the big thing the elephant in the room 
guys we did it shippers we have made it we have finally did the the groom of screaming girls was like the show's representation of all of us all of us they kissed they told each other they loved each other and they embraced and kissed oh my gosh yay the last time i shipped someone so hard i think it was bellamy and clark and for those that watched the 100 and till the end i think we all know how the hell that turned out i was very distraught very distraught i rooted for them like hard despite the odds i, I look for every romantic aspect of re the relationship everything and it just flopped flopped but i went hard for key and jj and they they did what they were supposed to which was live up to my expectations and get the hell together okay and now my life is complete like i could i could watch the rest of the season without any kind of worry without any kind of angst just knowing that the couple i wanted to get together are together and you know it's amazing <laughs> so guys i'm really really happy my ship has sailed it's out in the open ocean right now enjoying the sea breeze and the sun <laughs> <laughs> so yeah guys please like subscribe comment let me know what you guys think that you enjoyed the episode as much as i enjoyed it on my strippers let yourself be known in the comments down below um don't forget to check out my website booksinaman.com as well as my etsy store mina the introvert and my links to my webpad stories are also in the description box below if you want some more teenage angst you're sure to find it down below there's also the promo at the end guys don't miss out on it the link will be in the description box below and yeah that's it for tonight guys until next time